Hey everybody, it's Dr. Mexico back again. And today I'm gonna to talk to you a little bit about food branding. Um, yeah, so th there's, a, uh, there's a pretty interesting study that was done um, at, at, from researchers at Stanford University. And what they were testing is they wanted to see if, if the branding of a food item affected the taste of the food. So, so this is what they did. This is actually pretty disturbing when you really think about it in the context of, uh, of, 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 of neuro, neuromarketing to, to children. So what they did is they, they um, presented two identical food items to children, um, preschoolers. So they used, uh, in, in this example, they used McDonald's labeled foods. So in other words, they presented carrots that were purchased at the grocery store and they're identical identical carrots and uh, some of the carrots were presented in a McDonald's labeled wrapper and then those same exact carrots were presented on the same tray in an unlabeled just generic wrapper and then they asked the kids to sample each one of them and then they asked them which ones tasted better mind you the same exact carrots they also used french fries milk juice hamburger, chicken nuggets, different items that you would find, McDonald's items, foods. They were McDonald's foods. Um, and then some of the foods were actually foods that were purchased at, at a store. So the kids were presented with two choices. These preschoolers were, were presented with two choices. So two identical food items, one marked in McDonald's logo wrapper, the other in plain wrapper. Now one would expect that the, ch the kids would, would taste the foods and, and think that they tasted pretty similar. Well, you'd be wrong if that's what you thought. Would you believe that 77% of kids, 77% of, ch of the children said that the food that was wrapped in McDonald's wrapper actually tasted better than food that was in plain packaging? So I think this says a lot about the way and the messages that we're sending to our children about food. Um, I think that uh, I think that you know, as myself as a parent and um, and anybody watching this, if you have kids, I think it's a um, I think it's a lesson that we need to be uh, maybe a little more diligent to teach our kids about the value of nutrition. And and then I'm not I'm not by no means am I saying that you know children should. Um, should never eat McDonald's and children should never have fast food. Um, I, don't, I don't necessarily believe that. You, you, you may think that because of the emphasis that I put on health that, that, I, would, uh, that I would think that, but I think the, uh, the sh a surefire way to make sure that your kids will want to binge on a fast food product is to completely withhold it for them you know, forever. Don't ever let them. So my kids have eaten at McDonald's. In fact, two of my kids hate McDonald's. They completely hate it. And my daughter likes it. So they eat there very, very, very occasionally. If I say once every couple of months, then that would be, you know, a, probably a stretch. So I'm not advocating that, you know, these foods never be exposed to children. But when 70%, when 77% of children are actually saying that, you know, specific food items taste better if they come in, in a McDonald's wrapper, I think we need to reevaluate the, uh, the, the, the way that we're educating our children on nutrition. So that's your tip for today. So yeah, researchers at Stanford showed or proved that, that kids actually, hey, they'll eat anything if it comes in a McDonald's wrapper. So maybe if your, your kids are having a hard time eating healthy food, you might want to try to throw some broccoli in a McDonald's french fry little baggie and, uh, and maybe they'll eat it. So this is Dr. Mexico. Hope this tip was helpful and make it a great day.